This is a tandem Persic belay system. The system is designed for two person loads and performs well under impact or shock loads. You begin with a load release hitch, a Prusik mining pulley, and pair of Prusiks of at 7 millimeter at least. You rig your line in and then you connect to your load. Before you allow your rescuer to be on rope, you want to do a grab test to ensure that your Prusiks are rigged appropriately with the right degree of tightness. Have your Prusik softly set, grab your line, and jerk it. If the Prusiks grab the rope, then you know that they're rigged appropriately. If they do not, then you need to tighten them up a little bit. That should be done every time before a rescuer gets on rope. To manipulate the tandem Prusik belay, you want to do what's called pulling Z's. Ensure that your thumbs are out. Never wrap your thumbs around the rope and place a guide hand against the Prusik hitch itself. When you get ready to advance rope with the rescuer, you want to make sure that the line appears to be taut between the rescuer and the edge. Any margin of slack should be on the top side encompassed in your hand and your pull. So when the rescuer gets ready to descend, you're going to advance or break the Prusiks back towards the PMP and pull the rope straight up into a Z like such. As the rescuer descends, he takes rope from you this way. Before the rope gets taut, you're going to again push back on the Prusiks and pull a Z and continue to let the rescuer take rope from you. You can do this very rapidly on rapid descents and you can do it very slowly on slow descents. That should be the proper technique for advancing tandem Prusik belays. If a tandem Prusik belay gets loaded, because it's not minded appropriately or the rescuer's descent exceeds the speed with which you can keep up. Once it is loaded, you will have to transition the load off of the tandem Prusik belay system and onto the main line. That can be accomplished in a variety of ways, but the primary purpose of the load release hitch within the tandem Prusik belay system is to accomplish that task. So once this system is loaded, the main line would be descending from another anchor point to the rescuer. You would come back to the load release hitch. Push the bite through and remove the pass through. Before you pull the pass through all the way out, you want to make sure that you have a tight hand on the coils and that the coils have been collapsed all the way towards the double munter. Once that has taken place, you can then begin to feed the coils into the double munter. As you feed the coils, the entire belay system extends until the load is transferred to the main lines, the line becomes slack, and the Prusiks can be broken, like such. Once that is accomplished, you would then ensure that you have your three to five coils on your load release hitch and perform your pass through again with your overhand.